These days, many a moviegoer will patiently sit through a film's entire closing credits in the hope of seeing a mid-credits or post-credits scene that will either set something up for a future film, add a further layer of detail to what you've just watched, or simply serve to blow your mind. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most shocking post-credit movie reveals. Oh, and while there's obviously going to be spoilers for all of the movies here, we're also going to be spoiling Fast and Furious 9's post credit scenes, so if, understandably, you haven't seen that yet, please come back after or avoid number 5 in its entirety. Number 10. The Avengers Initiative Begins Iron Man We've tried to limit the amount of MCU movies on this list, because it's no secret that they've come to popularise the post credit stinger across modern movies. Still, their first remains one of the most shocking, coming at the end of the original Iron Man. Here, after unveiling to the world that he is indeed the superhero in the tin can, Tony Stark is visited by a soon-to-be familiar face, Nick Fury. He doesn't have many lines, but each one was tantalising to comic book fans. Not only does he hype up the age of heroes to come, but he floats the idea of an Avengers initiative made up of multiple different characters. If only we knew just how big this universe was actually going to get. Number 9. Sinestro becomes the villain, Green Lantern Sure, we all know now that Green Lantern is an absolute stinker of a movie, with star Ryan and Reynolds even having poked fun at the picture, but more on that later. Still, one of the extremely few bright spots of the film came once the end credits had started rolling, and no, it's not just because it was now finally over, with audiences getting a short scene showing Sinestro fully embracing the dark side. Given how that character has long been one of the greatest villains in DC Comics and has continuously battled the Green Lantern core, it wasn't necessarily so much of a huge shocker to see Sinestro take his steps fully towards villainy in the post credit scene here, but it was more the shock of seeing a genuinely brilliantly done moment in a film so full of terrible, terrible scenes. Number 8. Tails teases a sequel, Sonic the Hedgehog. The initial character design for its titular speedster may have raised plenty of eyebrows, but Jeff Fowler's Sonic the Hedgehog turned out to be a whole bunch of fun when it finally raced to the silver screen early last year. Seeing the Ben Schwartz voice Sonic teaming with Donut King and Pretzel Lady to battle Jim Carrey's maniacal Dr. Robotnik made for a ridiculously engaging, entertaining watch, especially for those who have been enthralled by Sonic since his Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis days of the early 90s. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie, of course, also ticked plenty of boxes for franchise fans, with nods and winks to the games of the past 30 years. But likely the biggest moment for those fans would be the shocking arrival of Tails during a post credit scene. There, audiences got to see another ring portal open on Earth, with Tails stepping out of it on a mission to track down Sonic. With both of his Tails there for all to see, Tails then takes flight into the skies of Green Hills, setting up Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for April 2022. Number 7. Will Turner returns after 10 years, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. By the time the credits began to roll on Pirates of the Caribbean's third outing at World's End, Orlando Bloom's Will Turner was left cursed and destined to spend a decade trapped at sea with the Flying Dutchman. If that wasn't bad enough for old Will, this all came at the same time that his love interest Elizabeth was pregnant with the couple's first child. Still, at least Liz got the romantic slash morbid keepsake of a chest containing Will's heart. Yeah, romantic. While Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow ended at World's End by sailing off to hunt down the Fountain of Youth, it was a total downer of an ending for the Turners and fans of that couple. That is, unless you stuck around to watch the picture's end credits. In a surprising move, at World's End's credits dropped in a scene set ten years in the future with Elizabeth and her son shown waiting cliffside as Will surfaces on the horizon and makes his way home for a heartwarming family reunion. While the franchise's next outing would ignore the Turner clan entirely, a tentacle-faced Will and his son Henry would be front and centre for the fifth entry in the series, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Number 6. Andy finally gets his revenge, Curse of Chucky Initially pegged as a reboot of the Child's Play series, 2013's Curse of Chucky ended up being a sequel that served as a soft reboot for the property. With poor Nika Pierce having been terrorised by Chucky, Curse ends with the infamous doll being suffocated in a plastic bag. From there, cue credits. For horror fans, this one could well be the most rewarding post credit scene on this list. Not only was it somewhat of a shock to actually get a post credit sequence, it was a brilliant slice of welcome fan service to bring back the series' original protagonist, Andy, and then have him seemingly kill off Chucky for good. Making this even sweeter, it was framed as if Chucky had got the jump on Andy here. Instead, the initial victim of so much of this good guy's sinister behaviour was well and truly prepared for this seemingly final battle. While it's implied in this post credits moment that Andy has finally put Chucky to rest, 2017's Cult of Chucky would explain how Andy had spent the past four years brutally torturing his one-time friend till the end. Number 5. Han Confronts Shaw, Fast and Furious 9 
While the rest of the movies featured here are at least a year old, Fast and Furious 9 hasn't even been in cinemas for a week as of this writing. However, one of the biggest talking points of F9 is that the shocking death of Han in Tokyo Drift slash Fast and Furious 7 was all a ruse, with Han faking his death with the help of Mr. Nobody. Given how this character was supposedly killed by Jason Statham's Deckard Shaw, many fans were quick to ponder what plans Han will have for the man who supposedly killed him in an act of revenge. But they were quickly put on the back burner because, hey, Jason Statham actually isn't in F9, so I guess that's a topic for another day. Only it isn't, for the post credit scene of Fast and Furious 9 shows Statham Shaw smashing up some poor fool while chatting about a flash drive. After a knock on the door, there's the mouth-watering prospect of Han just stood there with his best pissed off face on, as the credits then kick back in. Number 4, Deadpool's fourth wall-breaking epics, Deadpool 1 and 2. These are two very different credit scenes, but they're both distinctly Deadpool. The first sees Ryan Reynolds' regenerating degenerate pulling inspiration from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, telling the audience to please just go home, there's nothing to see here. Attempting to then subvert the huge sequel teasers in similar movies, Wade just casually drops the fact that Cable would be along for the ride the next time out. Deadpool 2, however, goes absolutely insane with its credit stinger. This comes in the form of a montage of the Merc with a mouth traveling through time to avert certain wrong, like killing the X-Men Origins Wolverine's take on Deadpool, shooting Ryan Reynolds as he reads the Green Lantern script, and even toying with the idea of killing an infant Adolf Hitler. It was positively bonkers, and maybe even better than the film itself. Number 3, The Entire World is Infected, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. 2011's Rise of the Planet of the Apes set the ball in motion for what would soon be a battle for the survival of mankind as apes start to rule the world. Dovetailing together quite nicely, the ALZ-113 drug leads to a deadly pandemic that will wipe out humans, while the substance similarly works to enhance the intelligence of apes. And in a Rise post credit scene, we see just how that virus was initially spread, with Will's infected neighbor arriving at San Francisco airport and putting this virus out to the masses. Number 2, Peter's identity is revealed and JJ is back, Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man Far From Home had one of the most brilliantly shocking post credit scenes in recent memory. For those with a penchant for Sam Raimi's trilogy of Tobey Maguire headline Spider-Man pictures, the Far From Home credits featured J.K. Simmons back in the saddle as J. Jonah Jameson. While that in itself was phenomenal for Spidey fans to see, it wasn't quite as welcoming a proposition for Tom Holland's wall crawler. That's because, unfortunately for Spider-Man, Jameson and his DailyBugle.net platform beams out a report showing conveniently edited footage of old Webhead's final battle with Mysterio. With Jake Gyllenhaal's Quentin Beck having framed Spidey for both the drone attack on London and the murder of Beck, the real gut punch waiting around the corner is that this footage reveals that Peter Parker and Spider-Man are one and the same. With that, the cat is well and truly out the back. Peter and his nearest and dearest are immediately compromised, and MCU fans are now eagerly awaiting how this all plays out moving forward. Number 1. The Survivors Are Doomed, Dawn of the Dead 04 to some, Zack Snyder's 2004 take on Dawn of the Dead is just as good, if not better, than George A. Romero's 1978 original. That some, of course, would be our very own Ben Roy Turner, but there's surely others out there of a similar mindset. The point being that Snyder's Dawn is a damn fine movie, even if you don't agree that it quite matches up with Romero's iconic 78 picture. In terms of the figurative and literal flesh and bones of the 2004 Dawn, though, it's a tense, twisted zombie offering with plenty of bite. The film's biggest moment, though, comes once that main narrative is done and dusted and the movie is running through its closing credits. There, with our group of survivors all smiles as they recall themselves cruising on a boat to safety, the credits are intercut with shots of things not quite turning out all that well for our protagonists. In an absolute kick in the nether regions, we see how this boat ran out of fuel, forcing Anna, Kenneth, Nicole, Terry, and of course Chips the Pooch to stop off at a nearby island that just happens to be overflowing with frenzied, frantic, undead hordes. Yeah, not quite the happy ending we all thought. So that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think the first time you saw these post credit sequences? And are there any cool ones I missed off here? While you're down there as well, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.